Dear colleagues, uh, I'm Christoph Diener, a neurologist from the University of Essen in Germany. And from now on, I will uh, inform you about important trials in the stroke field every month for the ESC Stroke Council. Let us start with the problem of treating intracerebral hemorrhage. If someone has an intracerebral hemorrhage, usually blood pressure goes up dramatically. And the concept was to treat high blood pressure aggressively in people who had an, or have an intracerebral hemorrhage. Now, there was one initial trial which compared aggressive versus less aggressive therapy in a time window of six hours after onset of intracerebral hemorrhage, and this trial was negative. So the ATTACH-2 trial was designed to repeat this trial, but with a shorter time window of four and a half hours. The aggressively treated group should have a uh, systolic blood pressure between 110 and 139, and the less aggressively between 140 and 179. The initial blood pressure was 200 millimeters mercury or higher systolic. Now, this trial recruited 1,000 patients, half each with aggressive and non-aggressive therapy. The outcome was severe disability or death. Unfortunately, the trial had to be terminated prematurely because of utility. There was no difference in outcome. The rate of permanent disability and death was about 38 to 39 percent in both groups. So, ladies and gentlemen, very frustrating. Obviously, it doesn't really help if we lower uh, very high blood pressure in people who have an intracerebral hemorrhage aggressively. The second paper was also published in the New England Journal of Medicine and it deals with andexanet alpha. Andexanet alpha is a reversal agent for anti 10A inhibitors. And these are, for example, apixaban, rivaroxaban, edoxaban, given for the prevention of stroke in patients with atrial fibrillation. Idarisusimab is already approved. This is a specific reversal agent for patients treated with the Bigotran. Now, this trial was done in 67 patients who had a major hemorrhage. The majority had a severe GI bleed or an intracerebral hemorrhage, and 47 patients could be evaluated. About half of the patients were treated with rivaroxaban, the other half with apixaban. Now, andexanet alpha is given initially as a bolus, followed by a two-hour continuous infusion, and the endpoint was anti-10A activity. So after two hours, anti-10A activity was reduced by about 90%, which is a very good result. At the end of the infusion, unfortunately, the anti-10A activity increased again to about 40% of the initial level. In terms of clinical outcome, the investigators judged uh, a good hemostasis in 37 out of 47 patients, I think, which is a reasonably result. So we hope that this reversal agent will be approved soon and will be available in emergency rooms. It's a little bit more difficult to handle compared to the big two uh, idarisusimab in the bigger triumphant patients because this drug is not given as a bolus but as a bolus with continuous infusion and the, the concentration of the infusion has to be adapted to the different 10A inhibitors. But at least we will have a reversal agent for all of the NOACs. So, dear colleagues, thank you very much for listening. I'm Christoph Diener, a stroke neurologist from Essen in Germany.